マイティベテスだ。Oh yeah, those creepy fuckers. I remember them. <sighs> so now, the mighty Belmont welcomes you to what's gonna be a new series. Something I wasn't expecting to do, but, you know. Since this is a Bethesda game and this game he grew up with me a lot, I decided to, you know, at least make some episodes from it. Now, this game, I am made, making this pretty much for my girlfriend, you know, my fiance, wifey, girlfriend called Savvy. She,、uh, she's a huge, huge fan of this game and she loves this game. She bought this game and、uh, it's because of her that now you know, I know about the game. And、uh, I think it's a game that I'm gonna like a lot.、Uh, like when I play it myself, like I'm gonna like it even more. Because I've been watching her play in the game here and there.、Um, just for the record, this is gonna be. Pretty much for the most part blind to me, and also my first gameplay. And、uh, well, I, I am a huge fan of you know sci fi horror.、Um, I'm mostly the type of dark fantasy person, you know, but also I like the type of sci fi horror like aliens and the thing and stuff like that. Now, one thing I know. Is that this game in normal mode is already really, really balanced and hard. So I've been thinking to do it on hard mode. Ah, nightmare. <laughs> That got to be a crazy fucking mode. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do it in hard. Because I think it's gonna be already like challenge enough. And one day, you know, when I grow to love the game even better, I may make a second. Serious and I make it all the way, you know, in the hardest mode. Now, I wanted to be the male, but I know you got these two choices, right? This really reminds me of Fallout 4 at the beginning in the bathroom a little bit. But, well, since you know, I'm making this series pretty much after my fiance, and, and of course, she's a female, I think I'm gonna pick the female, Morgan.、Uh, Kind of like in tribute after her, you know. And don't worry, I'm gonna be cutting the unholy loading screens of these games. I know they're terrible. Let's do it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. First day on the job. And what a room do we have here, huh? Anyway,、um, do not worry. I'm not gonna be being the type of fool that is gonna be talking non stop over the you know, NPCs and talking throughout the whole video like 24 7. I'm gonna be just talking in certain moments and leave, you know, keep silence and immersion. And also, I wanna show the description of all these new items. Yeah, you can move them around like this and、uh, keep it organized. Resident Evil 4 style.、Um, so, I'm gonna try to show 
you know, as much detail as I can of the game. And if you're looking for a more silent type of playthrough, then perhaps you may not hate this one because I'm not going to be talking all the time. And we got a closet here. I know some of these items, you can grab them, throw them away. Peterson's. Yeah, you can throw it away like that. <laughs> Which is a cool feature. Pretty sure you can use it to hurt small mimics or monsters. Hmm. <laughs> I can use this later for the bathroom. Let's put it here in the corner so things don't get too messed up. And I think that's a new item. Oh no, it's not. Okay. But this one is. Now, keep in mind that I really got to learn a lot of... This, this is a game that it has a lot of thinking and a lot of, you know, thought put to it. And it's, it can be a very... Uh, I don't know. Like a very scientific game for me. Like maybe too much. But I'm gonna try to do myself not to suck too much and trying to, you know, at least trying to find everything that I can. Because I know this is a very intelligent game and don't expect me to do everything perfectly. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be missing things here and there, but I'm gonna try not. This item, you can put it in your inventory. It's just something that you grab. Just like the rest. Like the majority of things. Canvas here. Hmm. The code. We got some emails. I'm gonna try to get close to the screen uh, for those people that want to read this. I'm gonna try to give you at least a fair two or three seconds to pause the video and read. Because I usually I read this type of, you know, like lore related stuff mostly when I am editing my videos and I read them in that moment. That's the moment where I take the time to pause and read all that in books and, you know, files and stuff like that. I don't do it all the way when I'm playing, recording, because, you know, I'm trying not to spend the whole video hands-on electronics, spend the whole video reading stuff. Not most people are going to get bored with that. Hey, I saw my feet. <laughs> That's awesome. Finally, Bethesda is adding this feature. It's not a mod anymore. It's in the vanilla game. I'm sure a lot of people will love that. It reminds me a lot of Fear 2. was one of the first game, first person shooter that I have played that were able to see the character. What an amazing view. And yes, I am a huge, huge fan of Fear 2. Love that game so much. A family portrait, it seems. If they are all family, I mean, which I believe. Hmm. I know the big man in the middle is gonna. We're gonna see him a lot. Reminds me also of Spencer from Resident Evil, the old man. Very retro. An account of Fermi's question. Hmm. Now 
Yeah, there's a lot to read here in this shell. Midnight Suns, a classic anthology of Thang Dynasty verse. You have to pay attention in this shell because there is like four or five different documents stashed in there. You see, it's one, two, three, four, five. I think. It's like one behind this one. So, if you don't pay enough attention, you can totally miss that. Just realizing that. Engineering control systems. <laughs> this looks like a very futuristic Xbox controller, huh? That's awesome. So I'm trying to loot everything that I can. I know this is just a tutorial and some people might be like, hey, get out of there fast. But this is my first time playing the game and I'm trying to show the game in detail a little bit. Because that's who I am. I love, you know, slow pace, you know, immersive style. Monday, March 15, 20, 32. Well, it's not too far away in the future for now, when you think about it. It is futuristic, but it could be way more than this. It could be like a hundred years or two hundred years or a thousand years for now. Ah, the bathroom. Oh, all the necklaces, huh? And nice looking. They still look very old school. Interact, sing, can inspect a lot of cabinets. It's a lot, you know, the formula. It's very, very Fallout 3, New Vegas 4, you know, Oblivion, Skyrim. It's very much like that. Now, if by any chance you're new to my channel and you don't know me much, uh, of course, I got thousands of channels related to. You know, the Elder Scrolls and Fallout games. I am a huge lover. Ooh. I'm a huge lover of Bethesda games since, you know, very, very long time ago. And I think we can take a shower here. right now now if you are interested to see me playing you know like a badass dark elf playthrough and Skyrim um, I got a playlist there on my channel actually that's my recent project and I decided to just you know make at least to have out there some of prey videos because I've been wanting to to do this game, to make at least an occasional series of it. So yeah, just to check the inventory. We got another note. Congrats. Hmm. The shortest one ever. Also, I got, of course, a lot of Fallout 4 videos and some of Fallout 3 too. And just, you know, right now the moment I'm doing our roleplay series in Skyrim with the Dark Elf on Legendary Difficulty. So, if you are a huge hardcore fan of Bethesda and you still care to watch those games, well, just look for the playlist. You may not be disappointed, hopefully. 
This huge thing, man. I'm gonna put it there. What else is to loot? Hmm. Auto opens. Morning, Miss You. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. You'll have to take the elevator. Down the hall. But you know that, I guess. Aren't you going to be late? You're supposed to keep going. You're going to get me in trouble. Ah, come on, Patricia. Stop being so afraid. I can't talk to you anymore. <laughs> well, I always wanted to say how many words you can say, different dialogues. It looks like we're <clears throat> exhausted. Her dialogues, hmm? You can talk to NPCs in this game too. They run out of things to say. Reminds me more of the type of... Um, kind of like in Dark Souls game. Huh. Echelon. Or Echelon. So that's the floor that we are, huh? Hmm. Looks like it's a massive building. That's where we are. Right. Um, just two more floors ahead, huh? Fifty, fifty-one, I think. Oh, the roof. Okay. Oh yeah, this roof.
is you. Please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. That's a nice view on the bay there. Here we are, Ms. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Yeah, that's a very awesome moment of the game. Just a little you know, credit intro there. But I must admit, when I saw the Bray title, it really felt a huge sense of dread. Like, oh man, something evil's gonna happen. Something fucked up. Trans star. Yeah, I really love the look of this chopper. It looks amazing. And yeah, we also can do quick save feature. Feature that I love in every good game. Hey. Hello, Dr. Yu. I'm a Civil 495 Science Class Operator. Transar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. Hmm, kinda creepy how you look at me perfectly. My instruments are calibrated for high-volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. So... Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know I am. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. Try to talk to her while... while we watch the whole place. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. The elevator will take you directly to the testing area. All our labs meet the minimum. <laughs> Strange. That's never happened before. I'll have to file a maintenance request. Please excuse me, Dr. Yu. I'm sure your brother is waiting for you. Looks like Ran had things to say, huh? Let's inspect the place. I always like to, you know... Pay attention to details. Rough tube. Rough top, sorry. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Right. Oh, man. Got a bad feeling about this. Morgan, finally. Yeah, he 
is me. Looking around to see if I can interact with anything. Hey. Hey. You don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. I wish I could show you what I've been working on. You better get in there before Bellamy gets impatient. Bellamy can go and kill himself, little brother. Mm. They're waiting for you, ma'am. Nothing to say, huh? You... You don't look too friendly. <clears throat> you look like you hate your job. Just like the majority of people. At this technology. The math of science. Hmm. Is this the same book that was in a room? Cannot remember. DNA. Maybe it's not. Anything behind it? No. Alright. Testing rooms. I believe this is room A. Yes. The door is locked. Hmm. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Yeah, the bottom, huh? Hmm, doesn't look like I can save now. Doesn't let you save in this tutorial area. Dr. Yu, Morgan, we're ready. Okay. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Hmm. I don't like the look of them. B. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready. Maybe with the chair. Is she? She's hiding behind the chair. Huh. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register at all? No? No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. All 
right, here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. They treat me like some obvious experiment. What are you looking at? Creepy camera. Room D. Hmm. I wonder what is next. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. heavy stuff. Now, this question is actually very interesting. Runaway train is bearing down of five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. It means kill somebody to save others. Now, I don't believe any life is expendable. So I'm gonna say nothing. I know most people, a lot of people can disagree with that, but I don't know. Yeah, nothing. Not your problem, right? It's pretty much the same again. But, I don't know, as long as it's a good fat man, then I won't push the fat man. Say so I will not. Almost done. I don't like the whole mentality of saying, kill a few to save many. It just never makes any sense to me. Especially if it's good people that truly really deserve life. Wow. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... Is my coffee? It's empty. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way.
Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Here again. Was all that some form of a dream? Virtual reality. All my stuff is gone. If I knew this, probably I would spend so much time looting before. But now I know. Now, I don't know if the files count in my data. I don't know if I had to pick them up all over again. I'm not sure I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do it since we already displayed all this I'm pretty sure it's the same all over again what about the messages on the computer now there's six huh danger leave now all of them says danger leave now It's kind of a uh, threatening. Yeah. Nice. <sighs> Guess we're gonna have to get all back again. I wanna be cutting out, like, I know the loading screams in this game, they're sadistic, and also, every time I spend a lot of time in, you know, ma managing inventory and stuff like that, I'm gonna cut all that out, so well, you can take me later. files in a shell. I'm just making sure that I'm not leaving any of the files behind because I, I'm not sure if it's gonna save. It should be saved already, but can I break this window now? Okay. Put our outfit first. She's dead. She's being slain. Got a bad feeling about going the other way. Let me try again. Miss Fishy, she's okay. Ah. Terrifying. What happened to you, lady? Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. 
If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Only one way to break this. Yeah. I've been watched the whole time. What a cunt. This is why I hate corporation people. It's because of this. Let's do a quick save. Now, one thing I know is that you can die super easily in this game in normal mode. So I'm expecting to get destroyed on hard if I'm not careful. Break out. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Right. It's pretty obvious I had to do that, right? Okay, so I save my file. And uh, sadly we're gonna... R we're running out of time for this episode, but... I'm really low in this game. I love the way it feels. I can tell the mechanics and the gameplay is really good. And now I got the super pie wrench. I understand this pie wrench is godly. Activity log. All the events. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You said the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Oh yeah, it's repeating what we already heard. Two emails. Daily tests. Hope it's clear enough for the viewer, whoever wants to read this. But anyway, uh, whoever's watching this, well, thank you, and I hope to see you on episode two. This is gonna be sci fi good journey and I'm loving it so I wanna show the description of the range cause this range is just pure magic I know it's really powerful and good